This is Economy Watch. What you need to know about New Zealand's economic life today. Brought to you by interest.co.nz. Kia ora and welcome to Tuesday's Economy Watch where we follow the economic events and trends that affect Aotearoa. I'm David Chaston and this is the international edition from interest.co.nz. And today we leave with news we're now on the eve of some rather large central bank interest rate announcements. And the size of those rises will tell a story about how they see 2023's economic prospects. First it'll be the US Fed, followed by the ECB. Then smaller central banks like the RBA and the Bank of England will also chip in. Markets are picking more restrained rises, even if inflation levels haven't yet pulled back. But before that, the next regional factory survey in the US is from Texas where they report flat conditions and weaker new order levels. And that makes it eight months in a row new orders have declined in America's oil patch. This region's results are a drag on the overall nation's results. In China, and in a somewhat odd announcement, Chinese officials are pushing students to enrol quickly at overseas universities or their courses will no longer be certified. This will involve a rush for visas and flight bookings and pressure on overseas universities to confirm enrolment. It isn't entirely clear why they're pressing their young students to act so quickly. Their attempt to explain themselves isn't very helpful. And health authorities in China's southwestern province of Sichuan will allow unmarried individuals to raise a family and enjoy benefits reserved for married couples in in their latest effort to bolster a falling birth rate there. And Taiwanese consumer confidence stayed very low in January, but at least it rose marginally from December, which was their lowest since 2010. In India, Adani Group shares extended their sharp falls as their 413-page rebuttal of an American short seller's criticism failed to pacify investors. As expected, they framed it as an attack on India. The unconvincing rebuttal drove their share market losses for these companies to almost $110 billion over just three days. This comes as the Indian federal government is about to release its 2023 budget, and Adani will be an unwelcome distraction. Inside India, there is very muted reporting of the Adani woes. In Europe, economic sentiment rose from a month earlier in January to its highest level since June and well above market expectations. This is the third consecutive month that's improved and comes amid easing inflation and an improved economic outlook. But despite those improvements, including in broad German sentiment indicators, the German economy actually shrank marginally in the fourth quarter of 2022. However, they revised their third quarter result up. Together, they flattened the 2022 expansion to just 1.1%. However, the fourth quarter contraction in Europe's largest economy was mainly led by a small dip in household consumption, as those households prioritised saving. The US Treasury 10-year yield starts today at 3.55% and up four basis points from this time yesterday. And the price of gold will open today at $1,924 an ounce, and that's down $5 from this time yesterday. And oil prices start today low at just under $79 a barrel in the US, which is more than a 50 US cent dip from yesterday. And the international Brent price is now below $85.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar is a little changed at 64.8 US cents. Against the Australian dollar, we start today at 91.7 Australian cents, and that's firm by more than a quarter cent. Against the euro, we're still at 59.7 euro cents. That all means our trade weighted index starts today at 71.6 and little change from yesterday. And the Bitcoin price is softer today, now at $23,166 and down 2% from this time yesterday. Volatility over the past 24 hours has been moderate, at plus or minus 2.1%. You can find links to the articles mentioned today in our show notes. Get more news affecting the economy in New Zealand from interest.co.nz. Kia ora, I'm David Chaston, and we'll do this again tomorrow. Tomorrow.